Now you can't go anywhere on a battlefield now without being able to buy little trinkets and souvenirs. Um, the War Memorial is promoting a very interesting line of materials for the centenary under the, um, the title of their, I think it's their spirit, our pride. You can buy a stubby holder. Um, you can buy shot glasses. Shot glasses. You can, um, of course, the Flanders poppy is everywhere. You can have your aprons or your other mints or almost anything. Um, and as I said, this is a global phenomenon, the commodification of war, and whether that will actually undermine the Anzac legend is interesting because if you've got a story that's sacred or meant to be sacred, why do you commercialise it? And there's been a huge amount of commercialisation of the Anzac legend in recent years. New football matches, new rugby matches, tours to Anzac. Everyone's making a packet of money out of it and that is in tension with the idea that there is something inherently uh, sacred about these rituals and what they, they represent.